Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we'll be implementing the virtual networking, which is lab four. So coming to the tasks that we're gonna perform here are six different tasks. Coming to the first one, it's creating a configuration of virtual network. The second one would be deploying the virtual machines into the virtual network. The third one would be configuring uh, private and public IPs. And fourth one would be the network uh, security groups, which is NSGs. And coming to fifth and sixth, we'll be configuring uh, DNS for internal name, internal as well as external uh, name resolution. So as you can see, this is the architecture diagram for that. So initially we'll be creating uh, this particular resource group inside which we'll be having uh, this virtual network and two submits related to that. And we'll be deploying these two virtual machines named VM0 uh, and VM1. So saying that, let's uh, jump in the video and let's create it. So initially let's go to the Azure portal, as you can see in the dashboard. So here, let's go to the virtual networks, as you can see here, click that. And right now we don't have any virtual uh, networks. So let's go ahead and uh, create a new one, subscription one, and uh, coming to the resource group. Let me add the resource group uh, according to the talks. So create new and add the resource group, click OK. So this is the new resource group that we have created and it is in central US. So let me add the name for that too, which is this one. So let's go to the IP address and we have to fill the, uh, this according to our uh, architecture. So let me drag again. So as you can see the IPs, so we have to use those particular IPs here. So let me is that too it's done here and we have to add the subnet so let me add the subnet so which is the first one is subnet 0 and relevant subnet range so let's see everything as default as you can see the architecture right now we are uh, implementing this particular subnet so we are creating this uh, subnet and then we'll be including uh, this particular VM later. And then we have to use this other subnet too in this particular IP range. So let's add this one first. So it's being done. So review and create. You can uh, check the other tags if you want. But right now, for, according to the docs, it doesn't require so let me create this and we'll be adding the other subnet uh, from the resource that we have created the virtual network so it has been done the virtual network has been created but with only one subnet now we have to create the other subnet which is subnet one so if i go back here so under the settings we can see the subnets so you can see there is one subnet already present. Now we have to add the other subnet. So let me add those details here, which is subnet one and uh, coming to the range. It's this one, no, 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 done. And let's save this. So now we have completed with this. Now the second task is to deploy the virtual machines as you can see virtual machine 0 and virtual machine 1 we have to upload these two virtual machines so if i go back here so there is different ways that you can do the i mean you can upload the virtual machines using the arm templates so the first one would be you can just go to deploy the custom templates and you can uh, deploy it the other way is using the cloud shell so here you can uh, paste the command. So first you need to upload the certain files. So in this, you have to go to the lab four from the GitHub and you have to paste. So if I show you, so these are the two different uh, files that need to be added and then use the relevant command. So if I show that, so basically these are the files of the JSON and this is the command relevant to that. So inside this resource group, we are uploading these uh, templates. So this is one method and uh, 
the second one would be I'll be using uh, ARM templates and if I even don't want this ARM template I can directly go and uh, do this manually so you can see those files the template files and uh, you can uh, review those like what uh, size they are using and what is the default name so using these parameters you can create your own without using any templates uh, you can create them manually just that it takes some time however let's try to upload this here so if i load the file coming to the templates let me add this and coming to the parameters let me add uh, the parameter space in the student engine okay save so it's been saved and uh, if i add resource group one so it's showing me some error but still let's try to move forward by review and create let's see if we get any error so we have not got any error it was successfully passed so we can go and create it so what okay but here i can see the deployment in process let's see once this is done we can uh, verify whether uh, these vms are uploaded successfully or not but however when i was trying initially it was like i got like few errors i'm not sure why it was maybe there was some issue with the templates inside it's still loading let's uh, use the cloud shell to get the location in which the resource group is present for that I think it should be loaded first central us so oh yeah we are just using the resource group right so so you can see the location where this particular resources group is located so this is central us and if i check the other query let's add that to Did I missed anything? Oh shit. So let's replace it this with our location, which is central US. So 
so if I push it So for this location, there are no SKUs. That is the reason we have not got any response. Let's try East US. I'm waiting for the deployment to be completed. Let's go to the virtual machines and see whether, uh, yeah. You can see the two virtual machines have been deployed and uh, they are being successfully running. So this is for the task two. So yeah. So yes, and the next task will be trying to configure the private and uh, public IPs in the Azure VMs. So for this lab, I hope you guys have understood the concept of uh, creating the virtual networks and the relevant subnets to it and adding the VMs using the ARM template. So if you like the video, please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and thank you.